Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweet and I try in this tutorial I'm going to be combining all the techniques I use for color grading in Photoshop and I want to show you how I'm able to get those nice skin tones in Photoshop and if at all you don't have caption and just have Photoshop this is a tutorial for you and if at all you find interest in this video I request that you hit the like button on this video because it's going to help you to push and recommend this video to many people out there and without further ado let's get started so right now this is the raw file and i'm in the camera raw filter so i'm just going to be using this adjustment layer or this filter within photoshop or you can as well use lightroom if i told you have lightroom to process the raw file and convert the colors to my taste and preference so the very first thing i'm going to do when it comes to the camera raw filter is simply changing the profile from adobe color to landscape remember when i'm shooting portraits i tend to shoot them in a picture style known as landscape so if at all you shoot jpeg you won't be having this option within your camera or filter or even lightroom so i'm just going to change mine to landscape and as soon as i do that you can notice that the colors are going to be vivid and are going to be a little bit vibrant so before i proceed i'm just going to first of all recover the highlights and the whites within the image by taking the slide of the highlights down and doing the same for my whites and that gets back the image to a very good exposure then i'll simply come and add contrast to the image up to around 16 then i'll open up the shadows and i'll simply open up the blacks because i feel like the image was a little bit darker when we pulled in the contrast or when we pulled up the contrast so I just take up the blacks up to around 20 then this is so far what we have and the next thing we are going to proceed with is coming to the colors so i just want the colors to be a little bit different i just want the greens to have that kind of aqua feel to them so i just come to the hues and i'll simply take the green slider towards the aquas remember as i'm taking this slider towards the aquas so when you're taking a hue color towards the right hand side you're going to make that color look like a color below it and taking the slide that was the left hand side is going to make that color like the color on top of it so basically that is what hue is going to do so like i said i'm going to make the blues more to the aqua side and also take the yellows towards the green side just like this and it's going to make the model pop out of the background in this case so after we have done this the next thing is going to be opening the image into photoshop for us to do more color grading and evening out of the skin color or skin tones so i'll simply come and hit open to open the image into photoshop for us to match or even the skin color so this is from a previous tutorial and if i totally haven't watched it and you have issues using the mr brush tool you can check out the video with this sub this thumbnail and you can as well learn and understand how to apply and use the mr brush tool and avoid those mistakes so in photoshop what i'm going to do i'm simply going to first of all have an even skin tone color for this model right here so in order to have even skin color i'll simply come to the gradients right here and select gradient map so you come to add adjustments and come to gradient map it is going to open up the gradient editor right here so what we're going to do we're just going to first of all select the gradient icon and simply hide the gradient layer so after doing this with the gradient icon selected make sure the icon is selected and not the gradient map layer mask so just going to double click right here so we simply want to map the colors from the original image so that we can have a balance within the skin tone so just going first of all you can see gradient map moves from the shadows to the highlights so left is for shadows and right is for highlights so i'm just going to double click right on the stopper tool and it's going to open up the color picker tool and make sure the sample is 5 by 5 average so for this case i'm just going to choose the darkest part of the skin color or skin tones so i'm just going to choose that color in this case which is around about this color right here and simply hit ok and i'll click in the middle to make a midpoint and double click on that stopper tool to get a midpoint or the midpoint for skin tone so i'll just choose this color and hit okay 
then I'll double click on the stopper and simply come and simply hit on the brightest color of the skin tone or the highlight of the skin tone area which is about this area so I'll just choose a color I feel like is a little bit brighter and I'll simply hit OK so when I'm done doing this I'm just going to simply hit OK right there so right now I've mapped the colors from the image itself regarding the skin tone so what I want to do I'm just going to come and turn on the gradient icon by clicking on the eye icon or the visibility icon and change it from normal and change the blend mode all the way to color so as you can see this is affecting the overall image in this case so what we want to do is just going to come and select the white layer mask and simply press ctrl i on the keyboard we can press command i to invert the effect so i'll go, come to the brushes right click and get the normal brush tool and make sure the settings the hardness is all the way to zero and soft round brush tool is selected right here with the opacity and the flow of 100 percent i'm just going to come and make sure that i have black and white on these two boxes right here so you can reset if at all you have any other color by left clicking on the tiny boxes right here so make sure white is the foreground ca color then if at all you're done doing that you're just going to come so with the white brush we're going to be revealing the color grading on the skin area remember in photoshop white is going to reveal and black is going to hide that is why the effect is hidden behind the black mask so using a white brush we can increase on the size by using the bracket key on the keyboard and we can simply come and paint over the skin just like that so i'm just going to paint on only the skin and if at all you feel it is a little bit too much you can just come and reduce on the opacity just like that and just come and continue painting so basically we are, are trying to get a balance uh, within the skin tone of the model so I'm just going to be painting on this area but this is not all for the color grading that we want so i'll just come and paint on the skin just like that and you can see when you're doing this it's going to make the skin look a little bit more on the even side so i'm just going so you have to make sure to paint every area that you feel like has skin or contains skin within the image and you wouldn't uh, want to miss out on any other area so I'll just paint in these areas so don't mind if at all the brush paints away or away from the skin because you're going to be refining refining or fine tuning that as we proceed with this very tutorial so like i said paint on each area that contains skin and when you're done doing that you're going to be fine tuning the areas we may have painted wrongly or roughly and we clear away the extras so right now i think this is okay so like i said we're going to be fine tuning this image so right now we are done painting on the skin and now we haven't painted yet on the face area so you're just going to use the brush and also paint on the face of a model just like that and it's going to make the skin look even and look a little bit more uh, uniform than before so right now the skin looks better and it looks uniform like i said if at all you paint extras we're going to be painting or fine tuning uh, those extras so right now we are done painting on the skin area and the next thing that we want to do or the next thing that we'd love to do is eliminating or rubbing out the extras so click or press x on the keyboard and it's going to switch the brush back to black and with the black mask you can simply zoom in by using ctrl plus reduce on the size by using the bracket keys on the keyboard and you can rub away or eliminate the extras that you painted as you're trying to mask out or color grade uh, the skin and make it uniform so we are using a black brush to rub away the extras so just rub right here that is going to basically fine tune uh, the image and make it look a little bit better so when we're done doing this fine tuning right now the skin looks very nice and it looks even in this case but this is not all for this video so you can see before and after when, and when you feel like the effect is too much like i said always come back and drop the opacity or reduce on the opacity 
So when you're done doing that, anything is going to be just I've uh, forgotten to eliminate the extras from down here. So let me just eliminate this. Like I said, always look at an image and you look for whatever area you haven't worked on. So when you're done doing this or evening out the skin tones, the next thing is going to be creating a stamp visible layer by pressing Shift Alternate Control E on the keyboard. Or you can simply press Shift option command e on the keyboard create a stamp visible and simply come to filter and come to the camera filter so the reason for this is because we want the skin to be very contrasty and rich when it comes to having those nice and rich skin tones that is why we have come back to the camera filter and we're going to come back to our color mixer tool and come straight to luminance luminance is the brightness or darkness of a given color so i'm just going to come to the oranges and simply enhance the oranges by darkening them up to negative 17 is okay but as you're doing this you may notice that the skin is going to look a little bit overly saturated so i'll just come back to my shadows and simply open up the shadows and you can drop down the saturation slightly to around negative 2 so this is the before and after so far and we're going to open the image back to photoshop and do the final adjustments so by final adjustments i mean we are simply going to come to our hue and saturation and make the skin look better so just come to the hue and saturation adjustment layer right here and simply come and select the reds in this case and simply come to the lightness and just darken that so what this does is slightly desaturates the orange color uh in the skin tone of the model just like that negative six is fine then you can come to a black and white adjustment layer and after creating it change the blend mode from normal to multiply and just reduce on the opacity uh to your liking so at around five that is when we are good to go so right now the skin looks better and it looks very nice and even and her skin is really popping so you can do one more adjustment which is the selective color adjustment layer and you come to the blacks and simply intensify the blacks just like that to add contrast within the shadow areas so at round three that is when that looks okay and when the skin still looks overly saturated simply come back to the hue and saturation adjustment layer and come to the reds and simply take down the lightness even more so around negative 13 that is okay so this is how you can easily color grade your images within photoshop and if at all you have found the video hopeful i request that you hit the like button don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel Runnings from Runnings Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you yet. More amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.